Okay guys, it's day seven. You ready to check the hornworms? Yeah! Be careful with them. Hold on. Oh, atlases did not work. What about yours? <gasps> Cash, you have a you have a cocoon in there. Oh, but okay, hold on. But, we'll open it. But turn around. Hold on. Look, look. There's a cocoon in there. We'll take it out in just a second. Okay. What's that one? We're gonna dump out the pupas, ready? Mm. Okay, pull out the pull out the cotton ball. You need help opening it? Yeah. Okay. Be please gentle with it. Gentle. Don't want to break it. Ew, it's all moist. <laughs> Take out the cotton balls first. Mine's are moist. Okay. Here. Here. Look. Do you wanna to touch it? There it is. I found your pupa. There it is. You can touch it gently. Don't squish him. There's a hornworm in there. <gasps> Ooh, this this <laughs> wasn't poop. Oh, this one's moving. Oh, they're pulsating. Okay, put them in the thing. Huh? Look, look at it move. <laughs> uh, my cotton ball head. Okay, guys, it's been about two weeks, and these <coughs> pupas still have not hatched. They are wiggling a little bit when you touch them. Of course, it's not going to do it when I'm trying to do it. I don't know if you could see that. So, I know it's still alive. We're not giving up hope. Uh, we are down to two. However, one of them was obvious, uh, obviously lost. So, we are down to two pupas. Look, it's still moving. Ooh. But... So let, here's hoping that we at least get one moth. Um, some of you guys have asked how they are breathing and I did some research because I'm not a scientist. I'm just a mom with two curious boys. And I don't know if you can see, let's see if we can see here. Um, oh gosh, it's really hard to see. So, oh, it's really moving now. So there right here, you can see that there are kind of holes in the pupa. And it says that those are, it's not airtight. So this little caterpillar guy in here, this hornworm, uh, is still alive. He is still breathing. I did have him in that jar while he pupated, but it was for a short amount of time. And then when he turned into a pupa, we've had him out in a butterfly house. So we don't typically handle him like this, but I'm doing it for the video. So hopefully he'll be fine. Uh, so fingers crossed, we'll be seeing you guys in a few days.